Greetings and welcome back to Factory Town. I'm Catherine of Sky and I did ask for some help on this railroad situation, but it doesn't work as it want, I want it to. So what I tried to do is apparently you can use these logic blocks to you to do stuff. And what I did is I put in a pusher block. Now you can use two different kinds. There's a pusher and a sorter. Uh, and if you look at the descriptions for these things, a pusher will redirect matching items off a belt or chute if there's space, otherwise it'll let it pass. A sorter will force matching items to take the specific path direction. So a pusher is kind of like um, an overflow kind of thing that you can use, um, and a sorter will just make it go. So if this line was crowded with that many trains, um, then... <laughs> <laughs> We'd obviously want them to keep circling so the wood that keeps going around. Um, the pusher block is kind of weird. So I was trying to test like what filter I should use, whether like it could read this minecart's intentions of, oh yes, that's an iron ore thing, or whether I should do a item filter, nothing. But on the iron ore filter, I still got, where is it? Where is that naughty, naughty wood train right there? I don't know why this one went north. I have no idea and it drives me nuts. Um, yeah, so obviously that didn't work. Let's try, I guess we can try a nothing. If it has nothing, then it can go north, but we're not gonna use this. I just wanted to play around and see if this was possible. Now, apparently it is possible to have um, a system going on like this. But I think I'm gonna have to play around with it. Maybe, maybe on camera, maybe off. Uh, you let me know what you would like to see. But that's gonna happen when we actually get trains, I think. Um, and for now, what I would like to do is just load up our our episode here. Don't save. Um, because I think that this is a better solution in any case. Because. Uh, this has the buffering system where we can get the iron into these barns and that will distribute them into the houses or into the, the forges fairly and that's going to be working a lot better. Now then, um, I think what we want to do here is we can actually stop this production of or, or stop the movement of this material along this area here. So let's just take that off for now. And I'm going to replace this directional thing with one going in that a direction. Yeah. So all of, I'll take this out once those have reached their destination. And this is not great the way we have this set up right now. So what I want to do is I want to have two separate places for making stuff. Now we have nails and other things going in here. We have, let's see, let's look at both recipes at the same time. We need the pickaxe and the reinforced planks. And one of them, the, okay, so they both require iron plates. So that has to be shared. And the pickaxe requires reinforced planks, which have to be shared. So what I want to do is something else with the... Uh, this is going to be a pain in the socks, isn't it? Because we have to move this stuff. I kind of wish I had done this a little bit differently because <laughs> it doesn't work very well. Um, but what I can do is let's let's get one over here. And uh, do I want to do that that way though? Let's see. How do I want to do this? What I can do. Is we can keep this barn for ourselves. We can do that. We can we can just kind of let me think if I can let me think if this is an okay place to put this thing. I might need to move it. Let's see. What I want to do is divide the materials between one place and another. So if I have I guess what I can, I can do is put this that way. We can do a splitter like this to go split those iron bars between the two buildings, right? Now then, how do I split the other stuff? Now, I guess this one can be doing the pickaxes. Let's do that. Uh, and that one will go into this barn. Now, this one, I want it to split between a barn 
and this thingy majingy. So, oh, that's that's how I do it. That's quite easy. Okay, that's fine. So I can do this, and then the alternative is going to be like that. No, do not. I don't want that grabber there. Go bye bye. So the alternative is going to be doing something like this, and we'll move this building back right across from the other one. Right. Okay. And so this one is only going to make the reinforced planks and that's it. Except it's on the wrong side, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. How nice. Um, <laughs> no, why? No. Um, all right. So we need to change this up a bit with this one that needs to make the reinforced planks, uh, because of the planks going in there for now. So let's change this up. Select recipe, reinforce planks. And this is where we have some issues with this particular barn, which I would love to move this. So this one is going to be making the pickaxes. There we go. All right. So I guess what we can do is just leave that barn there and maybe we can try to use the stuff there to begin with. I'm going to go ahead and take this thing. No, oh, rotate. No, this is what I want. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. Let's go here and there. Okay, so we'll take a splitter and do this. So this is going to distribute the reinforced planks into that one and also here. This one is going to get the nails. Wait, no, the reinforced planks need the nails. The pickaxe does not. It just needs a plank and an iron plate. So that's just fine. Um, I, well, actually, look at this. We can actually just make this work. We can put the pickaxes in here. So let's take this. Um, can I do a grabber and a splitter on the same? No, really? Mm. Well, I can move it. Uh, I can, no, I cannot move it. I, I can do something else though. I can do a, I can rotate the splitter. I can move this here and do that. Mm. Belt Diva at work. There we go. Okay. There we go. That should work a tiny bit better. And we're going to let these things happen and we'll take down that belt shortly. But overall, this is working really well. Uh, we might need, let's see, this thing really needs a lot more of the iron ore. So can I boost this a bit? Yeah, sure can. Let's just keep it going. This is, let's take it down and see if. Does it ever empty out? No, I think this is probably five and that's as much as the belt can work with. And unfortunately it has to go uphill for this particular situation. So we can't really do too much about that, but we are going to get the metal conveyor belts soonish. So, so that will help us a lot, I think. All right. So what do we got going on now? We have things happening. We've got this uh, forge going on, iron plates, things and wheels and stuff. So wheels are getting made. So how is how are things going? We have a little bit of storage of the iron ore. What are we missing here? We are looking at fire. We're missing fire? Really? Oh, are we short on wood? Yes, we are. Okay, we're actually short on wood. So let's get that to happen. Let's get some more woodcutters on the job. Seems like we don't have enough fire in the second or the third building. So maybe we also need another one of these carts. So let's pause and rotate this. There we go. And can I paste? Yes, I can. There we go. So we'll only get wood. All right. So that's good. That's and they're also going to distribute um, at opposite ends. So they should be getting more frequent deliveries of wood. And that's going to work out really nicely. Now then, I want to look at the metal rails because this was something that we were thinking about before. And since we can now build these, I'm quite happy to... <laughs> quite happy not to use this rail system by God. Yes, I don't want to do it at all. I'd rather, I'd really rather just use the other stuff. Okay, so what does this need? This needs iron bars. Okay, I can handle the iron bars. 
Um, do we want to use rails? Probably not. They're so slow. Um, I'm, I would almost rather just take this into a forge and have the forge make stuff. I think that might be the solution here. Because this has been absolutely miserable. Uh, I'm going to move this forge, by the way, out of here. So let's see. We're going to move it back, I think, over here. Just make that happen. And I'm going to take off these rails because we have seen the disasters that are the rails right now. Maybe trains are going to be better. I kind of doubt it. But you never can tell. You never can tell. So let's just take these off. Uh, there are obviously ways to do this. Maybe I just need to look up. There isn't a lot of information on the wiki, which is unfortunate. Uh, but that's okay. We'll we'll find a way to make it work. Because I love trains. Trains are like one of my favorite things in any game. So it feels very sad if that's not something that, that actually works. So might be a thing that we just need to to work with and see if it works. Okay, so let's take off these. We really don't need... We have 2,000 stone in the city center. We really don't need more. We're good with that. And if we we have um, rails being made, these new rails, we can put them on this conveyor belt. That's what I'm thinking is taking it to town that way. We can use the wagon with the rails to bring them back uh, and entering into this next building, which is going to be our, what is it called? The machine shop, right? So let's go get a machine shop here and have this working. I'll put this over here for now. So that's going to have one connection there. So what we're going to do is we're going to select metal rails, which we can't get yet, but it'll be fine. We're going to get some very soon. Okay, metal railways. There we go. Uh, metal mine carts and metal rails. Okay, they can use to be quick, quickly transport lots of goods. Really? Hmm. Right, uh, metal conveyor belt, let's get that as well. We'll upgrade our conveyor belts as well. So let's look at these rail cars. Let's see, it doesn't tell us anything about this stuff, which is unfortunate. I don't like that, where it's like absolutely no information on there. It doesn't say the capacity of them or anything like that. So I feel like, eh, that's not very exciting. All right, let's take these guys and we are going to take, probably make some conveyor belts. This, I want to just make some, some stuff here. Let's take these down. We will take a thingy there and I just have this split right there. There we go. And then these guys are just gonna be making iron plate. Yeah. Let's see, copy, I think we can paste maybe. Yeah, there we go. So then we just need fire to happen here as well. So that can be made with uh, this tree situation that's going on over here. Let's just add a little bit of height. Uh, oh, building is blocked. That's fascinating. Oh, I guess we can do that. <clears throat> is that the same height? No, I think it's higher, a tiny bit higher. So let's just add that there so it is the same height. I don't know if that's too high. It does almost look too high. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Let's see if that, that happens. Let's look at our forester. Okay, let's see if that will work. All right, it's not going to actually work. Yep, those do not function well on those thingy imagingies. Okay, and so let's take that. There we go. Okay, so that, oh, it does work. Okay, that's fantastic. Right. I, I thought it might be a little bit too high, but I'm glad it does work. That's nice. Let's take this here. Uh, yep. Put that in there. Sure, whatever you feel, game. And I'm just going to try to drag this over. Oh, is that higher? No, that can't be higher. Go away thing. Shoot. No, it's the same height. I don't know why it's thinking it's higher. Well, hello, Emma. 
Emma is looking very beautiful today. It's always good to, to compliment a cat on her beauty because, you know, cats are just... They, they need to be told how beautiful they are. They do go to a lot of effort to get beauty sleep and all that. So yeah, really important to kind of let them know and all that kind of thing. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. I think we just take a very long belt. <laughs> this seems so insane to me, but here we go. Taking a belt all the way. Uh, I can get rid of a couple of these pieces there, but let's get a grabber and take these out. And I think what I want to do is put in, we'll do a little partial thing here. All right, so I'm going to make a, let's see, here is our entry point. So here is where we want to go, right? Nope. Yep, that's where we want to go. Perfect. So I love the... The way we can just easily drag these things down this way. It's very nice. And then we can drag them up as well, which is super handy. Now then, let's take this over and we'll just take this maybe this way because those apple trees might be useful later to us. Okay, there we go. Very nice. And of course, conveyor belts can easily go up and down mountains and cliffs and all the things. Now then, I am kind of tempted to put a little bit of iron plate. You know what I'll do? I'll have, oh, this is a perfect idea. I want to have a limited amount of iron plate in a storage container. So we're going to put a barn here and just split off a tiny bit of this into the barn. And it's going to hold maximum 200 items. So I like that idea because I don't want to have thousands and kind of micromanage that whole thing. It doesn't seem worth it to me at all. So we're just going to do it that way. We have 6,000 science, by the way. That's kind of cool. All right. What are we making here? Let's make rattle rails. We're going to make them out of the wooden rails right now. So we're going to have our... <laughs> this is funny. So we pick up wooden rails... And we drop off wooden rails. This is our new new meta. <laughs> this is so silly. Let's see, I think I can make, um, can actually put a road underneath this area there. They actually go very fast on the road, which is nice. Let's take this under. Yes, good, good, good. And up here. Nice. And they go very slow on the grass. So it's worth going up there. Now, I do think that I want to move this, at least the top row of buildings. It, it, we can move the bottom ones as well. But right now, um, the top buildings cannot get pipes of water, whereas the bottom ones definitely can. So I'm thinking we need to have uh, a situation here where we can add water to them because it's free, free happiness. We can get at least a little bit of happiness there with that. So, all right, so we're making the rails. This is good. Now, uh, we forgot to put an output belt on this. So I definitely want to add that. Let's see how we can do this. So this is easy peasy land over here. If we do a belt this way. Ah, we need a little bit of height there. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, and then we need to do a turn here. Okay, so there we go. Metal rails now being produced. So we're going to keep track of how many wooden rails we have until that hits zero. And then we're going to change this icon out for metal rails. Now then, we have so much fertilizer. I don't know if we need more or we should be just distributing it to different places and stuff like that. I guess what I can do is just kind of go around and place farm tiles underneath all of these bushes and stuff that we have. Uh, anything within range is good. And let's see, yeah, you guys need farm tiles because they don't actually benefit much from the farm tiles or much from, yeah, they don't benefit from water unless they have farm tiles so that the sort of the water sort of soaks up the water or the tile soaks up the water and the plants can can be happy drinking it in and having a great time. Yeah, 
We'll just go with that. Uh, it's a good thing to kind of use up the farm tiles because, as you see, it goes pretty fast when you uh, when you use them because it takes two per tile. Uh, let's see, pear trees are not happy to be manipulated in that way, but they can be used on bushes. So let's see. Do we want to... This area is already done. Those herbs are quite happy. Maybe we do the carrots over here. There we go. And if there's a special section that we see like, oh yeah, that place can use some stuff or this is a unique fruit. Like maybe these, these cacti could use these. No, apparently they can't. Oh, this is uneven terrain. No, they just don't like the uneven terrain. I guess we could even this up, perhaps. Wow, this whole area is just a mess, isn't it? Um, is there anything else that we want to use them for? <laughs> we still have 173. I'm feeling like this is not an emergency. <laughs> it is though kind of nice to use them up. So let's see, can they be used over here? Incompatible terrain type. Okay, so they can't be used in desert. That's good to know. These are trees, so those don't work. Aha, but these work. Let's see, here we have some tomatoes. Let's use them over here on a few of these. Sure, doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt. Because otherwise we're, you know, not using it anyway. It's just going to waste. So we might as well use it on something. Uh, we could feed it back, of course, into the uh, into the farms. Because they do give a plus 50% bonus on growing stuff. So that's a possibility. If we want to, of course. Check our research out. Um, and we have 400 in industry research points, which is kind of great. Now then, we're going to get our tech level up very, very shortly. I do feel like our happiness is flagging a tiny bit. I want to figure out what, what else we need here. So we could get free water, which would be good, or free happiness from water. That's kind of a nice thing. That is going to require us to kind of move these houses around. What I want to do is move them. Let's just do this very quickly. I'm going to take that long. So we're going to move the bottom section as well, I think. Um, right. We want to move. Oh, we can move the roads as well. How nice. Uh, oh, no, no. I don't want to move the scaffold. Nine eye. Do not. All right. So what we're going to do is just move these roads. And we want to have... These houses moved so that we can put a pipe between them. Uh, I don't know how to do this, so we're just going to do this as it seems logical to me to do. <laughs> uh, oh, we need to do this here, actually. We want to have this extra scaffolding on the back uh, instead. So let's add that there. Okay, sure. That's too tall. Yay. All right. Take this off, add one layer. Okay, and one more. There we go. Because we want to have the building plus pipes behind it. One, two, three, four, and one more, five. And then a scaffolding. Can I drag the scaffolding across? Of course not. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think we get the roads. That seems to be the easy, oh, that's too high. Yeah, they're both too high. Look at that. Oh, because I tried to drag. That's why. Okay. But it's better now. It's good and, and happy now. Okay, and then we'll drag this one. And then here we just uh, unpaint this, which is... I like this. It kind of like selects... It's very like Anno in that way. It selects the layer, the, the type of tile that you're deleting, and then it just, yeah, deletes it. And it doesn't eat anything else, which is kind of cool. All right, let's move these guys back. There we go. So they get access to road, access to all the things. The happiness has not disappeared. We're going to try the pipes. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to just try this. And if it doesn't work, then we'll just try it again. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can do this. So pipes, ooh, that's fun. Can I do pipes the other way? I guess so. Okay. Mm. That doesn't look good. I'm not sure what's going on here. It looks kind of like... 
trying to connect them, but it's not connecting. I'm not really sure how this works at all. I'm trying to like connect it internally. Do you, can you do a, a thing? Rotate? No? All right, well, let's try to do this and see if that works. And it looks like we can go on top of that. I don't know how they work vertically, so that's going to be fun. Uh, but uh, no, it doesn't do that. Okay, that's not the way to do it. <laughs> All right, let's try to X this out and let's get another pipe. Let's try to go this way and then go bottom, connect them. Oh, maybe we just stack them. Maybe that's the way to do it. No? Help? Okay, pipes. I know there's there's a way to do this. There is a magical way to do this thing, and I don't know exactly how. Uh, can I? I wish I could go up like one level at a time. Oh, I can. Oh, I can. Hooray. Set axis X, Y with tab. Ah, okay. All right. Can I go this way? Uh, yeah, I want to go there. Oh, okay. Hooray. Okay, I've done it. I've done it. Okay. All right, things have happened. Oh, that's not the axis I want to do. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Patience, patience. All right, I want to delete that one. And now we can get that one going that away. Okay, so we have axes happening. The axes have axed. They, they done axed. It's fun. Now then, buildings. Let's go back and get a well. Well, oh well. I don't know if that means we have water or not. Are they connected? Let's find out. Let's go into G land and see if we can connect these there. Okay. Okay. I don't know if G connects that way. I'm pretty wondering about this. Let's see. Let's look at our tab section of happiness. Yeah. Do? No, not do. It It's not doing what I want it to do. No. Please. Please. Okay. All right. So how do I get this down? Do I need to go down further? Into underground land? Let's go tab again. And change the axis. I need to get rid of this thing. That's not right. This, this is so cumbersome. It makes me very... Very sad. I don't know what to do about this at all. Mm. It's very frustrating. I have no idea how to get this to fit, how to get this to work. I have no idea, no clue. Um, I feel like this sh should work. <laughs> I feel like it should work. That would be nice. Ay, 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 ay. Um,. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this. This is so frustrating. It's like, how the heck do I connect water to a pipe? Mm. Is it because it's not having a block at the same level? Surely not. Okay, so if I attach this... Okay, it looks like... I can't attach it on the well. So what if I did that? Does that do anything? No. Doesn't do anything. <sighs> this game, I swear. I love it and I want to love it even more, but dang, there are some irritating things in this game. I don't get this. I, I really don't know how to connect this. I feel like I've done everything that I can possibly do. So we have overhead grid view. We have mining layer. We have pipe layer. Pipe layer doesn't work. Uh, if you're doing 3D pipes, so that's not working. Let's see. We try to do the axes, but you can't seem to connect the well to anything else. The well is facing the pipe, even though it's just like looking ahead. It's not actually doing anything. Oh, all right. Okay. You know what? I'll leave it there. Maybe someone has a suggestion for me. <laughs> I don't know. This is so like, it's like slightly infuriating and I hate, I hate feeling that way. 
because it's like I want to love all the things about this game but sometimes it's just so so frustrating all right what's going on over here it looks like we're needing a lot more in terms of the mining so let's add some more workers here and get that moving let's maybe two workers should be plenty and then we're gonna get all of our lovely wooden rails converted into metal rails this game sometimes I I really really just want it to work so badly and it's just much frustration much 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 frustration in a lot of ways all right let's get rid of this conveyor belt someone was asking if these you can see the number of the conveyor belts going up because uh, we are removing them anything that you delete gets returned to the pile of of materials that you've been using so yeah it's good stuff good stuff all right looks like our pickaxes just need to be keeping on making the pickaxes and we're good there we have oh tech levels up nice all right so we can get advanced logistics yep uh <laughs> jewelry golden gets polished stone we can get intermediate medicine that sounds cool deep mining steam engines mechanical rails cargo ships harvester drills I feel like we might need to, because we're kind of barely, barely on the happiness scale, it might be that we need to start providing like more, more categories of a specific thing, right? So maybe with, with basic food, we pro provide them with either two happiness items. I don't know if we can even do that. Uh, let's see, cheese is made by a kitchen. Uh, town specialty artistry, okay. Uh, there's also butter, that's nice. Do, can we make those things? Let's see, can we make butter or, or things? Oh, that's the wrong building. Let's see, where's the, there's the kitchen. So cake, can we make a, can we make cake? Let's see, produced by kitchen. So cake goes into berry cake, like, wait, hold on let's look at this again let's look at this one more time here basic food so it is butter and cheese not cake we need to stop thinking about cake and just go butter and cheese let's select let's see butter and cheese butter is two uh things of milk and cheese is five things of milk plus one cloth plus lots of work units is two cheeses all right, so butter, I think butter's probably the easier to make. It's also cheaper to make. Uh, let's see, this is 12 coins, this is 20 coins. Happiness two, and they both give us happiness two. I think it's probably good to give to do some butter. I think we're gonna do the butter, butter situation here. Uh, let's see, these, um, the animal food maker can use what? We can use either grain or carrots there's some carrots over in other yonder lands so we may need to just we can maybe use those there's some these are tomatoes of course no cows don't eat tomatoes not usually there's potatoes that works uh here's our carrots that's nice we could ship this stuff this is a this is a food mill this is the market I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to use the mine carts or trains or something. And it's like, no, 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 you should not. You should absolutely not do that. <laughs> okay, harvest to drill. No idea what that is. Uh, steam engine would be great, though. Uh, we could look at deep mining. Allows placement of mine shafts that produce resources from depleted mineral nodes. That sounds pretty great. We don't have that situation yet, but it sounds good. Jewelry. Sounds great. Let's do that. I'm going to unlock this. Um, I also want to unlock the steam engines. All right, so we get our steam locomotive. And let's see, intermediate medicine. Sure. Let's get that so we can get antidotes and ointments. And steam locomotive. Yes, get that again. Rail freight cars. Yes, take it. We're going to take it. Cargo ship. Sure. We don't really need the ships so far. It seems like the water is not sufficient. I think on other maps, it's probably a lot more usable. Okay, so this is nice. Things are happening. Things are good. Things are happening good. Uh, wheels. I would like to get some wheels going on. Um, maybe I put in the wheels like... 
uh, somewhere. Maybe in a barn or something. Maybe I put them in a barn to the side here just to like store a few of them. Let's see, I think it's F1 where I have a barn here. Yeah. Let's put this there. Can I uh, filter this? Yeah. We want to have this one to be empty, please. And empty. And we'll take some metal wheels. Same here. Okay, good. Or iron wheels, not metal ones. They're, yeah. Anyway, um, we'll, we'll have some made here. It looks like they're full up in general, so we can easily afford to ship some into this container. Uh, steam pipes. Wow, that's another really good thing to add to this box right there, actually. All right, we're going to do that as well. We'll just take this one up here and that down there and in there. Okay, so this is going to do a splitter there and we'll do the steam pipes because I think we need steam pipes for a specific purpose. So it's okay to kind of collect them. That's a good thing. Oh, we have a research up here. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so that's good. That's really good. We can get that going. Now, what's going on with this? Are we short on anything? I think we might even be able to add another worker here and do two per second. But I feel like we are short on these things. So let's get ourselves a few more workers. I think that's good. So these use steam boosters to, it says plus two units per second. Now we haven't, we haven't even gotten there yet to have enough uh, stuff going on for that. So that's, that's important. Oh yeah, we need to add steam pipes here. Uh, pipe, steam pipes, there we go. There we go, nice. Okay, so then we can add a little bit of that and yeah, do stuff. Oh, we can upgrade the barns, that's nice, cool. Let's see, before we do that though, I would pause it. <laughs> so in case it adds more categories, I don't know if it increases the total amount stored in each category or if you just adds categories. I'm not sure how that functions. So that's something that we can look at in a bit, but let's see, how are we doing with this? We can definitely go a little bit higher with this. How much do we need in terms of, so the industrial knowledge book is what needs the iron bars. I think it's, we're doing pretty well though. We're doing actual good, good work here. Let's see, do we, we have plenty of red coins. I'm gonna go ahead and spend a red coin boost just to, this is one red coin or it's 0.25 per second and it gives us one per second. So if we do a four coin boost, that's gonna be four per second and it only costs us one red coin per second. I don't know if we can afford that. I don't actually know how many red coins we're getting per second. Um, does, do we have a thing here? We have goals menu? No. Production, hey, red coins per second. We're getting four per second. Right, that's not good. <laughs> we have expenses of too many. That's not good. All right, we need to we need to focus on other things. Okay, so let's let's take that off for now. Let's take that down to zero and uh, and be good, because we soon enough it will deplete. It will definitely deplete. So let's see if we had butter delivered here, our people would be happy, and that would make them even extra happy. So let's see. Let's look at these farms. They are let's see one worker two per second. Okay, so they are a, a losing kind of thing. If you want more, you should make more pastures. I think what we can do, let's see, a food mill. Again, that is, let's see, one worker. Yeah, one and a half per second. Definitely worth having multiple feed mills for this. So what I can do is get a farm making, let's just pick one from here. Get a farm here. We also have wood here in case that matters. Let's see. Let's get one farm and then we'll get a couple of food mills. Uh, 
right, there we go. We need two of these, I think. Oh, I think we want to move these a tiny bit here. Yeah. All right, uh, and then we want to get two pastures. Let's see, pasture. Yeah. Okay, they're a bit, a bit snuggly, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so pasture. This may not be the best area to put them in. Maybe I should put them around here, um, and just like transport the carrots over. Maybe that's a better idea. I don't know. Let's see. If we have the pastures here, we still need to collect the dung, or maybe we don't need to collect it. I don't know. Maybe we uh, send one set of dung back to the pasture. Maybe that's what we do. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in a well here. Uh, no, that's not it. Let's see. No, B. B is what I wanted. Oh my god. The, the hotkeys here are a tiny nightmare, aren't they? Let's see. I want a well. There it is. And then we're going to get pipes, which is F4. Go to G level and connect it. Good. Okay, so that's going to make our carrots grow faster. Now this is going to be split between these two places. So let's go here and get our shoots going on. And remember, you have to have a one block for the output and then the next has to be the splitter. You can't have them on the same block, alas. So we're going to make animal feed out of carrots. Okay. So copy and oh wait, no, control copy. I almost went like Factorio there. Okay. So then these go, I think we can do a shoot here as well. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We want milk. So we need two feed plus two water gives us our thing. So copy and paste. Oops. Hello. There we go. Okay, so we're making milk in both of these places. I also want to get some water again. Oh, actually, we can just steal from this one. Go and go. And we'll go on our F4 journey of fluid pipes. Press G and connect, connect. Okay, that's fine. So we should be producing milk. And we are. Great. Milk and fertilizer. So do we... Okay, so what we need from the milk is okay so this only gives us a little bit of stuff we needed that cheese i th no not cheese we were gonna make not cheese we're gonna make butter ah yes butter nice and uh, that's it we just need two milk for one butter and so i'm gonna go ahead and get a food well i'll get a kitchen maybe i'll put it over here because it doesn't really need to be uh, anything what we could do is the bread is coming out here at a decent pace I mean we could even put in a faster belt there like this and then I'll just do this and share that same belt there's no no need for that to need a second belt okay so let's add a recipe here and we're gonna do our hello Cheese. No, butter. Butter. Yes. Butter, butter. Butter, butter. So then, how do we get that to here? We get, I guess we just, there's a couple of things. We could do wagons, but overall, I think conveyor belts are the fastest way of doing things. So I'm just going to use those. Let's see. What we can do here is we can take both of these on a cloth conveyor belt this way, like this. Not like that. Not exactly like that. Maybe we want to, we want to kind of go above, up and over. So I'm thinking we go something like this. Uh, like that. Like this. And then go up here. And pillar. Like that. And then we cross uh, this area. Uh, we can, can actually go all the way toward the trees. 
that might be okay. So somewhere like this. And I don't really care. It's easier, so much easier to do, do that instead of nicely laying it out. Okay, that's a little bit too high. So we'll X one layer. Maybe I'll just do that instead of doing these really pretty little thingy thingies, I'll just do it the easy way. Because we don't actually gain that much, except we waste a lot of time. <laughs> we just use a heck of a lot of time. Okay, so we'll do this like this. In case we want to add another farm here or something like that. Okay, so here we go. No, nigh. Nigh and nigh. Okay, let's delete this. And we're going to do a milk. Yeah. And then milk. Not this milk. The, yeah. So the, the logic things, I guess you have to connect them to those sensor things that we unlocked or we unlocked the blueprints for or something like that. Uh, but that's going to be, I guess, in the future. I hope it connects easily because the rail thing has been a tiny nightmare. And it actually just makes me sad. Really sad. Okay, we have tons and tons of iron ore here, so we don't really need much more. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off a few workers. Maybe just leave two. How are we doing here? What are we doing? Looks like we're short on wheels. We, ah, we're, we've been, huh, we've been sending them off here. Let's go ahead and add another worker, a couple of workers here. We have plenty of workers to go around, so that is not an issue. But we are getting butter. Oh, the butter is happening. Oh, the butter. And the butter will create two happiness as well. So that's even better for our happiness factoring. We need to get this happiness factor to add a few more houses up here. Um, but I think it's a good time probably to finish off this episode. I'm going to ask uh, my friends and colleagues about these, these pipes. Yes, I just want to sigh. I have no idea why this is not working like I expect it to work, but I expect there's some kind of tr strange trick that I need to do. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been kind of crazy fun. I'm really enjoying this. I'm enjoying all of the spaghetti to get things uh, where we want to go. We may sometime later kind of change up the way we're doing things and send stuff via train. Now that we have that possibility, I'm really, really excited for that. We can now make all of the steam locomotives and tank and hopper cars and all the things like that. So it's going to be pretty exciting times ahead. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.